our area, we have had tornado warnings since super early this morning, started during the 4 a.m. hour, mm -hmm. and Columbia County saw some damage. We want to turn back over to News for Jack supporter Ashley Harding. She joins us live from Columbia Cl County. Now, Ashley, last time we checked in with you, we saw some pretty significant damage. What are you seeing now? Yeah, Lauren and Melanie, yeah, we did see some significant damage to a home not too far from where we are. I want to mention, though, since we're here live uh, on the side of State Road of 47, I want to show you, look at this right here. We've been watching these guys for a little while now, and they've made significant progress because just a little while ago, they actually removed a tree from those power lines. You can see there's still a number of crews there. You can see this one guy just got into a cherry picker. This just happened. My guess is that they're working to make sure that these are secure and that everything is safe, of course. So that gives you a sense of how uh, significant the winds and the damage and the rain really was. We'll pan over this way and just show you one of those crews that is on this side over here was just where you're looking at right now. There was another issue of trees. You can see the broken limbs right there were on these power lines and you can see how low they are now hanging here at State Road 47. I want to go ahead and just check on this progress once again. There's now two guys in cherry pickers. Looks like they're about to hoist a third one as well. So that really gives you a sense of the teamwork involved in making sure that power lines are safe, that they are functioning the way they are supposed to. You see what he is doing right there. Obviously a methodical and meticulous process there as well. You know, these guys work so hard. They're, they put their lives on the line, quite frankly.